Was a bull eye last month over 400. Finished a race off nicely in the third here last week over 350. The step up to the 440 should suit it. And uh, he gets his challenge. She gets her chance here today. The Victorian here, Highfield Silk, has a number of placings of Shepherd and Bendigo in its last eight. So uh, it's not without a chance, despite being first up. It does have the vacant box in five, and uh, he's a $7.60 chance, a bit of value. All the way, green line through. Bunny Travels were set for race number three. Ready? Racing now and out wide on the track. Magic Field roll away quickly. Dig Deep Penny went through the joint and held cheeky. Bustling up, got tightened up with Chicago Black. And they're both out the back. Magic Fiddle leaves. Blue Denali got across the second. Four lengths to Highfield Silk on the move, followed by Dig Deep Penny. Next thing was Highfield Six. Well out of it now was held cheeky. Chicago Black as they turn. And the leader still Magic Fiddler. Blue Denali trying to get it. Highfield Silk coming late with a big run. Highfield Silk, the Victorian, got up the beat. Magic Fiddler and Blue Denali. They'll follow behind them was Dig Deep Penny, Highfield Sticks, How Cheeky and Chicago Black, the last couple in, probably forget they went around, time recorded 25.70. Number four, Highfield Silk had the perfect sit off the two leaders and has finished strongly out wide. The win is by Vapor World out of enough detail, race by Timothy Winter, trained by Neville Tate from Wangaratta. Second goes to number seven, Magic Fiddler, Patricia Dean. And six has run third, Blue Denali, Philip Cowling. And third going to number, uh, fourth going to number three. Four, seven, six and three, 25, 70 the time. The run home there of 14, 32. 14, 32, 25, 70 overall. Margins are a half length by a half, a half by a half. The winner at around 7, 10, which is going to have pretty good value in the race. I said her, uh, her form over the last couple of months has been solid. Uh, she's had about five placings at Shepherd and Bendigo. So she's been competitive and that form holds pretty strongly coming into that race today. And uh, she certainly went out of good odds at around $7.10. She's ended up uh, paying the... Uh